We're talking about lots of interesting stuff today. Yes. Kodak, a Holga. What do you got there? 110. A 110. Film of the month. Film of the month. What's up with that? Well, Frankenstein cameras. Yes. You got to check it out. There's one left. Yeah. All right, put, gotta put it forward. Here we go. Ready? Put it forward. Gotcha. Here we yeah. go. I hear that every <laughs> big holiday out front with the beer trucks. Oh, beer trucks. Beer trucks. Yeah. Nice. Right. Ready, Freddy? You ready? Ready? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Wow, it feels like forever since I've seen you. It has been. And you're still shaved, and I'm still shaved. Still shaved. Huh? And, and this is a new year. This I have not me. seen you. This is the first time I've seen you this I year. I haven't seen you since last year. I know. That's an old joke. It never gets old. It never does. Howdy, y'all. I'm <laughs> Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. Yeah. Goodness that, gracious, we have quite a show to discuss today. I mean, we've got a, a, a litany, a, a litany of things, Ooh. a plethora. We have we have a list. Word of week program. We have oh, it is just <laughs> so so much stuff. So let's not dilly dally. Let's just get on to it. First of all, a uh, happy new year to you all. Happy new year. Uh, we certainly hope that you have a very uh, prosperous twenty twenty one, right? Mm -hmm. And I hope you get to shoot even more film. And more photography film. this year. More, more, uh, more, more. Shoot more film, develop more film. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be a good year for that, I think. I think so, too. I think so, too. You're, you're hoping so, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We all know had a, sold a lot, well, sold a lot of film and bought a ton of film. Mm. Yes. And uh, had a story about that. <sighs> He's well, got a story about everything. I do, I do. I you know, <clears throat> not want to get into that. <laughs> well, uh, while we're here, uh, thank you all for everything you guys did uh, watching our videos last year, uh, sharing our videos, yeah. subscribing. So if you're new right now, please do share, like, subscribe. Go ahead and click the button for us right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, you know, the more the merrier, and we're hoping we can grow this just a little bit more and share it with a few more people because well, you know, why not? You know, you stumbled upon us on accident. Yeah, you have to suffer the consequences a little bit, right? It's, <laughs> and you stuck around. <laughs> and you stuck around. Right? If you can make it for the first three minutes, then you can yeah. really make it for the, the whole Yeah, hour. absolutely. Or, yeah, however long we take. We, we got a little... We, we do have a list of stuff. And you know what? Yeah. We're going to start with opening stuff. Now, okay. I don't want to take forever here, but I got something in. And I know you don't sell it in the store, but I got something in. Okay. And I thought okay. it was equally cool. We're going to let the... <laughs> He's he's staying clear of the knife I here. Am, I am. Okay. Oh man, he's going wild. All right, I feel safe. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Now I saw these online, and this is one of those. It's not going to make my photography any better than it already is. <laughs> <laughs> but I okay. saw these and said, "I gotta have it. I gotta have it." Oh, see, I want to sell these in the store. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these are I nice. Do. Huh? I do. So I got the Kodak film cases. These are for the uh, 135, or as we say in the States, 35 millimeter. Blue. I got uh, the blue. I got the, the silver. I blue. got the silver on silver. I went, so, I went ahead. And they got six of them. I only splurged whoa, for four of them. man. So you got four. Why didn't you just go all out for and get the other two? I, I don't know. <laughs> and the other two will probably be the collector. <gasps> well, one of them I think was black on black. And I'm like, eh. Yeah. You know, I got the silver on silver, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and open one. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. There you go. There you go. At least I think. See, we don't know how to open things. <laughs> it's still not giving up the ghost. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you, kind of, you have to push and slide that way. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So it's it's in a very hefty box. And I think these things cost, was it 25 a piece? Wow. It's either 20 or 25. Uh, I'll put the real price on the screen for you guys to... I see them re already retailing on eBay for thirty-five. <laughs> I'm still. I'm never going to be able to get this thing out of here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is how you. This can is tell. the best oh, case wait, wait. ever. Yeah, there, there's a little thing right here. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, one, baby. One more piece of plastic. Yeah. yeah. And then oh it's, my goodness. And then it's set inside some very thick Oh, that, foam. that is really nice foam. I mean, they spent wow. the money they spent on packaging. The packaging. It. That's why it's so that expensive. That is so worth it. Now, the sad part is that this is not full of film. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to But, uh, you know, it is the Kodak red Whoa. and the yellow and the blue. This is, this is like the 60s. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixties time frame. Uh, I mean, yo, this is uh, this is a good feel. This is a good weight. It is. It, well, it's real stuff. It is. This is real. How, how they used to make stuff. These are real. So my guess is it's made where now? <laughs> Probably somewhere. <else. laughs> Probably. Oh, let's see here. I it either came from the UK or well, something it's, like that. It's 2020 Retro Productions. Yeah, yeah. Made in China. <laughs> oh, well, it's made in China. All right, so it probably came from China via Hong Kong, via yeah. slow boat. I mean, I was supposed to get it in December, and it just like got here this last week. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, this is actually... But that's really nice, though. Looking. Raised Kodak lettering on, on one side. You know, there's no way... Kodak I, embling on the there's other. There's no way a film holder is going to improve my photography, but I had to have them. Yeah. Now, will film fit in it? <laughs> I don't. Do you have a box of film? No, that's here. Just uh, pop one of those out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There pop we go. There we go. See, we're having fun here already. This 2021, and 2021. we're already having fun. All right. Boy, it's tight fit, but it is a fit. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Put it on your tab. <laughs> but you know it i was thinking initially that these were going to be flimsy but this is oh, really man. hard it's uh it's, it's it's very well crafted i mean i don't think i can step on it and, no, and it, it survive well, but it is pretty you could accidentally step on it not full full jump on it. i think but it's gonna it's, it's gonna take a couple of really, dings and blows uh yeah. so like i said so i got the red on yellow here i got the yellow on silver silver on silver I got the silver on silver yes these so, would be fun to sell. I tell you what. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know that I need four of them. I might have to leave you a couple in the store, see if somebody really, really wants them. That is just so pretty. It is it it's is pretty. very pretty. I mean it you it's know it's pretty. Like so, I said, yeah. they spent a lot of money on some really nice looking packaging. They did, things. they did. So that was one thing I had, which I thought was cool. Nice, yeah. right? Oh, absolutely. And then I got this. Ooh, where'd, where'd, oh, where'd the right magic there. knife go? Right there. All right. Which I have not opened. <laughs> the guy who's got a knife. I know. Watch out. Don't run with it. Maybe I should have just asked for scissors. Well. No, no. I got it. That one, there's scissors right over there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We oh. have contact. Oh, another Hoga. But a this one, one is a uh, ten, a one macro ten. Oh, one. Oh, see, I, I, I stopped to open this package. Yeah. Uh, you know, I always we're always doing. <laughs> he's so so concerned. <laughs> hey, we're always trying to make Hog Week just a little bit better. And I'm like, I yes, saw, yes. I saw the one ten. I'm like, you know what? I can't diss it if I've never tried it. And so I'd say I'm gonna get a, a one ten. I'm gonna shoot a one ten, and I'm gonna see if it's any good. I'm gonna see if it qualifies right. to be one of the Hog cameras for Hog Week. If only we knew when Holga Week was. What exactly do you think Holga Week was? Oh, man. It's not until like October. It's, it's like Oh, that's away. that's forever. That's like less than 10 months from now. I know. I know. Less than 10 months. You need to start planning. So, cute little box. I think really? I paid like, you know, maybe 25 bucks for this. And you think, I, I normally buy a regular holder for about 25 bucks. And so now I bought, it's, this is even you like you a portion of You have not had a 110 Holga before. This is the first 110 Holga I've ever had right here. And I'm just now opening it. I've never messed with it. I've never loaded one. It's still in the original package. Ooh, it even has instructions. Oh my. Instructions. They steal my bait and heart. I I'm not going to read those. <laughs> <laughs> Only after the very, very last step. Oh, look there. And it comes out of its nice little plastic. Now, I did want to get a colored one versus just a, uh, a black <laughs> one. Man, the film's as big as the... Well, open up the film for me because we're going to pop okay. it in here just okay. to... So, right. I mean, it says Holga on it. Now, I, I can't guarantee that it's going to have the Show same the vignetting. Yeah. You know? So, I've got a very uh, very open back here. I'm supposed to be just pop this open right here. And then uh, we've got the Kodak Gold 110. Kodak, or, uh, expired. Ex <laughs> expired. Way expired. <laughs> what is the date on this stuff? Oh, uh, well, look at it. While you, while you do this, here you go. No, you load it. Go ahead and load it. No, it's your... your Oops. Oi, oi, oi. There you go. Oh, well. I haven't shot 110 film. They're so embarrassed they had to cover it up. I haven't shot 110 film oh, in yeah. probably 40 years. We're not going to get the expiration. Okay, yet. so lovely little camera, as you can see here. Expiration's not going to I'm be just going to put the film in there. Oh, that's it, man. Course, that's and, it. And, and I'm just going to close it. And it, let's, see, let's, let's see here. 
Oh man, yeah. And and, it, and here here's so the film is the back of the camera. There's your viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> right there in the front there is your little square that is your viewfinder right oh, there oh man um and they've got us they've got the strap with it and everything right where is oh here's the here's the advance right where? here right this is the, oh okay that's the advance Let's see of course i'm probably gonna have to read some some instructions on how yeah oh no it's turning <gasps> it's turning we have movement I, I see arrows. Well, yeah. I it, you know it's been forever since I've done one ten film. I don't know where to. St I, I says one. 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 We it says one. one. We have one. We have. We have. Now I can I assume that this is the button the, the shutter button right there. That's the only thing I, to press. I, I can't see anything else on here to press. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That's the only thing to press is what's on back. And there are what uh, twenty four shots on that roll. Yes, I, so. I sure hope uh, Lone Star uh, can develop one ten film because I can't. They can. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't like to, but they can. But they will for us. Right. For you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna press the button then. That was it. <laughs> it was the tiniest little click. Click. It was like a <laughs> it was like a hummingbird click. Yes, yes. Click. Click click click. click. All okay. right, all right. That that's... that was exciting, right? That was so there terribly you go. exciting. Man, so hey, that's the lot. unboxing for the new year. But yes. now, Todd, you've got exciting stuff oh, to talk about. Oh man, if I got stuff. You know, speaking of Kodak. Uh, some fresh stuff, new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. <laughs> Watching a block, and uh, the, the you know silver green. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're all. Yeah, they are. They're they're going to. You need to go to them to Toolman Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they had a discussion going on, and they had uh, Andrew from London uh, mm -hmm. with Kodak Alaris talking about. 2021 sure. Kodak. Plans. Plans. Big, big things plans. coming, right? What's the difference between last year and this year? What is the difference? Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. It's a one? It's a two. 2021. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do need to kind of get together and have some practicing. No. <laughs> no. We, we're yeah. not going to start practicing no, yet. No. no, guys. That's not going to happen. Well, anyway, uh, Andrew was talking about how Kodak is going to come out with or have two, possibly two films come out in 2021. Oh, cool. One of them being a revival of film from the past coming back. Yeah, yeah. And one of them possibly being a new film. A new chemistry all new, new, new film, new chem. Well, that, they just said new film. Okay. And the exciting and interesting part about it is, it's just, what will the new film be? And, well, both of them are exciting. I think it's both are exciting. So what are you what, bringing back? What are you bringing I back? I mean, it, what did you take away from me that I really miss? There's like a hundred films. That and then what could you possibly guess, give me that would be so, so cool? Well, everybody on the panel was giving their suggestions. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, mine is very simple and very basic. Faster films. Yes. And more 120 choices to pick from. So Kodak, if you hear this, faster and more 120. That's what I hope. So you're I'm you're you're, where, you're saying we need more 800 speed films, possibly no, 16, 1600, 1600 speed films. 1600 speed films. Okay. Uh, so, you know, like and whatever you create in 35, clearly you want it for 120. Yes, yes. And, I want it for and possibly other well. formats. Now, uh, what was fun was that one of them was suggesting on on the group that uh, they bring Kodak Gold 120. <laughs> okay. Which I had some here in my expired pile. Uh, yes, yeah. So yeah. that's why I thought that was funny. But there, it's just it's, it's interesting, and it shows us that everybody in the film world is not resting on the laurels. They're yeah, not. Yeah. They're not just sitting around going, "Okay, that's fun. Let's just keep everything steady." They're branching out and looking towards the future and expanding and bringing more people in. And part of that conversation was what does what needs to be done to help keep the film industry going. And their basic uh, discussion was, of course, shoot more film. Yes. And have place, you know, just have it more film processed and archive your negatives. Yeah. You know, so that way you get your negatives and then you can make prints off of them and do a lot of stuff with it. And it's so uh, that that was the basic rundown. Shoot more have more labs, process more film, 
and keep your negatives and just yeah. shoot more and just keep the cycle going. So that is exciting and fun about that. That is pretty exciting. Uh, so, it, but what film would you like to see? Actual, actual uh, film flavor. What film flavor would you like? As a matter of fact, you guys, I, we would love it right now. If you go and comment yeah. and let us know of what all do you want of the see? Kodak films, I can think of two right off the top of my head. I would love to see back one more than the other. Uh, my second favorite would be the uh, the vivid color. I would love to see vivid color come back, but ultimately, it's the natural color. I would uh, love to see. So the you want to see color. the NCVC? I, I I I liked those a lot. Yeah, and, a lot of people did. And they they had I got beautiful, great results, and I and I kind of used them differently, and it was really nice. I liked it a lot. So I would like to see that kind of film. Obviously, yes, I want it in 120 and 35. So, 35 and 120, uh, both, I, I don't, both. Don't don't limit me there, but those are the films. If you're going to bring one back, that's what I'd like to see. I'm going to go with Superior 1600. Okay, that's very the nice. The press film. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Superior press film. That's what I would love to see come back. Um, and 35 and 120 as well. Yeah. You know? I, I don't. I think mean, whatever they bring back, they, actually have... they need to bring it back in at least both those stocks. Oh, that's why that's... That's Fuji. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe you should be looking over this way. See, I'm looking over here. Yeah. All right, Kodak, Kodak don't bring no, back Fuji no, Superior. No, very, yeah, let them do but that. But Kodak, if you want to bring back uh, Fuji Film <laughs> Instant, please do that. Please. So. See, I would love for Kodak to bring back Instant. So, yeah, yeah. Why not? You know, it's uh, okay. That's long, long time ago. <laughs> we Polaroid. don't this at all. <laughs> no, Polaroid used Kodak to make their Instant Film. Okay. Whenever Polaroid was getting started. Hence what the lawsuit was about, because Kodak <laughs> went off and did it for themselves yeah. and made their own cameras to put it in. Yeah. Well, Polaroid's technically not around anymore, so bring back you can bring back instant film. Okay. Well, you know, that is exciting news. I can't, yeah. uh, did, did they give a time frame as to when they no, thought they, they, they just said this year? They, they're working on it. So, I mean, year. it could be next December. Yeah, in the, oh. fall. Fall is probably, probably more likely. So, so, what we have to look forward to is something for stocking stuffers stocking stuffers Stuff for stocking stuffers, and also new film to shoot in the hogas for hoga week oh well if it's here in time if it's hopefully here in time. it's here in time that would, that would be, that would be fun great. that would be great wow so that's that's covers the, the the kodak that that was interesting so essentially it's speculation of speculation i but, like but I like that. kodak is the one throwing out the speculation okay all so right. you know it's got, it's got some meat to it I, hey i can handle that that's all fantastic <laughs> All right, next on our list is uh, a confirmed date Yes. for the Don's Used Photo Equipment Sidewalk, sidewalk sale. sale. The first sidewalk sale ever. Ever. For uh, Don's used photo now, sale. whether it's raining or not, yep. it's still going to go on. If it's, yep. you know, if it's not raining, maybe there'll be stuff outside. outside. If, it, if it is raining... It's gonna or be if all it's inside. Twenty degrees. Uh, there's then. a Facebook event. There's a Facebook event post right now. Yep. Go out to Facebook.com/slash Don's Use click, Photo. Click that. Share that. Share the event with some of your uh, your friends and Please relatives. Do. Uh, they would love to come and check the place out. And we're going to try and make this a bit of an event if we can, yes. as much as we possibly can. I need to clear some space out of here mm -hmm. so I can bring new stuff in here. And uh, believe me, I've got a lot of stuff to clear out. And when we get closer, we'll probably do a little blurb about some of the items yeah. that will be. Well, two weeks, uh, a couple Saturdays before that, I'm actually going to come up here and I'm going to help him out. We're going to yes. do some straightening up of stuff. I'm no, going to throw no. some stuff away that he he's never going to no, see again. No, no, no. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be mom. <laughs> <laughs> she, she she sent me an email oh, she gave me yeah. a hit list i know that that's not true mom doesn't have an email <laughs> but it's still scary <laughs> but uh no you know but that saturday when we do come up here and straighten some stuff up i mean yeah, you're, yeah. you're going to be open but i'm going to come up here and we're i'm going to have a lot of stuff to tease yes, because yes, we're going to start yes. setting stuff aside saying hey this is part of the sale you know and we'll stick it in a corner and throw something over it and then that you know that night Friday night we'll pull it out and I'll get it ready. So, so hopefully you February guys February sixth. So Saturday February sixth all day long from ten to three, mm -hmm. or until people stop coming. I mean I, if, if 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 there's a line out the door at four o'clock, we people you are might sitting still there handing me five dollar bills to take stuff. I'm going to sit there and take it. You know. Mm -hmm. I've got food to buy. We're going to try and make an event. There might be some music playing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it won't be live. <laughs> but Maybe there'll be some balloons. Well, some streamers. Wow. I don't know. Let's let's make it an event. You here. know, in a previous life, I actually did that little. You know, you take those <laughs> high, the the um, the helium filled balloons, and then you 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 sew them together, and you make archways with it, and uh, things like that. Yeah. You pile them. Yes. Yeah, uh, for I, I've never done that. A couple of weeks or a month, I did that. So. That's going to be cool. So I hope you yeah. guys are going to show up and I check it all so out. Too. Now, what's next on our list? <gasps> Film of the month. Film of the month. Film of the month. Don's used This is clinic. a new thing for 2021. Totally Film new. of the First month. Time. This is the the January film of the month. As a matter of fact, you know, we might actually put, well, I'm going to tell you what it is. Before. We might put a, a pictorial spread of it right here on the picture. So okay. let's say film of the month. Film of the month. <laughs> Yes. Now I forgot what I was. No. no. <laughs> so well, Don's used photo equipment is working with Lone Star Darkroom on this project. And the thing is, is that for one month, we'll pick one film and then I will have a discount, in-store discount for that film. When you shoot it and then you have, and this is going to be another topic for a video one day. It's like the stages of film, but you yeah, got film, you it's shoot It's a video it, talking about a video. This exactly. is very meta. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, Almost movie esque. The um, then then we're going to take the film and then have Long Star Darkroom develop it. Now they'll develop it. For, you'll pay the processing fee for the film. Yep. But for January, you get a free small scan of the film. So they okay. just give you. You just pay for the processing, and then they do a free small scan. For February, it'll be different. And we'll talk about that one later. But each month is closer going to, be a to February. Different, yeah. Yeah. We don't want to give all the fun things away. Well, I mean, so we're starting a little bit late uh, for this one because yes. obviously, but we're going to be uh, the, the next film of the month will be early. So you guys will know yes. about it. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Yeah. This is the film for January 2021. January film of the month, Ilford Pan F. Pan F, 35 millimeter and seven bucks a roll. Normally, That's pretty good. It's like eight ninety nine. Is so that 36 a roll? 36 exposures. That's pretty good. And it's going to be uh, seven bucks a roll. So almost two bucks off the roll. Now, buy it here, shoot it, and then in January, so you only have a few weeks to do this. Right, right. It's going to be tough. But in January, you can then come in, drop it off. Long Star Darkroom will come over, pick it up, process it. You pay for the processing, free small scans, 36 exposure rolls. That's going to be fun. That's a good deal. Now, next month will be a different film, and then we'll do a different thing with Long Star Darkroom. Now, this will always be a thing between with us and Long Star Darkroom for the rest the of the show. Film year. of the month. Film of the month. Don's used photo equipment, Lone Star Darkroom. That's a great combination. Yes. It's so exciting that ev we even have one of our customers who's going to buy a roll of film. He's going to shoot it, have it processed, and then he's going to do his own personal blogs about it. Oh yes, yes. So, uh, and he's one of any. He, uh, he's one he's, of our Dallas Photo Walk uh, photographer regulars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's like, like him, good guy, and uh, he, he's a great photographer. I can't wait to see his shots. Yeah, too. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Scott, if you're listening, uh, and his name is Scott Allen Smith. Scott, so. uh, uh, Scott, if you're listening, I want to go shooting with you. So just you know, give me a <laughs> give me a call. Let's go. <laughs> call me. Call. I can shoot some film too. You know. Yeah, that was uh, yeah yeah a uh, rumor. I can too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just don't have time. <laughs> he never gets yeah. out of the house. So next, the February one will be a lot more prepared and we'll we'll give you a little bit more notice about it. And also Scott, we'll, we'll try to set this up to where Scott can shoot the film and go through the whole thing before the month. And then starting in you know early February or end of January can put his own blog up talking about it as well. Right, yeah. So that'll be a fun thing to do with all of this. And uh, film of the month next one is going to be different, of course, and we'll look forward to that. Uh, and I, you know, I like your recommendations on the film uh, of the month because you know, uh, I guess last last year you had a little bit of a recommendation for the Ilford XP2 film. And yeah. I, and I yeah. bought a, a, a double pro pack or 10, 10 rolls. Yes. Yeah. I love that film. That's a fantastic it's film. It's wonderful It's a film. great, great film. I love it. It's one of my favorites too, but it's one of this. Pan F is a little bit slower moving than XP2, but it's one of the slower yeah, but, films. But for super bright but Texas days, best oh, that's a great, you know, that's a great yeah. film. I would love to see uh, that. The, the, well, the XP2, I'd love to see that movie film. Yeah. 
Well, the XP2 that you recommended was great. Mm -hmm. I, I developed yeah, I it in the uh, the Cinestill at home. That was great. Uh, and you're right, it, it has a warmness to it because yeah. it's, you know, it's it's like, uh, it's not straight black and white. It's got a, like a little bit of a sepia tone yep. to it. And, yep. and it's you can really do it. Nice. Like, yeah, you can. So uh, I'm actually looking forward to shooting some uh, Ilford Pan F myself. Exactly. Now, what, what, but the, I only also have two 10 packs left of the XP2. That, and, you know, that all started because I somehow accidentally ordered yeah. 100 rolls of 24. You should come in and get some of that. It's really good stuff. And so there's not much of that. There's only two 10 packs left and a couple of single rolls left. Yeah. So the single rolls were $6.95 and the 10 packs were $65, which is $6.50 a roll. So that's a good deal. That's still going on until that's finished. <laughs> a few years ago, and I guess something happened where this this video came came and uh, just exploded again somewhere. But um, Extraordinary did a short video on analog people mm -hmm. in the Dallas Fort Worth area. They had four people in which they talked about them, uh, or just did a little uh, section on them. Yeah, um, and one of those sections was my dad's um, work on taking different. Polaroid cameras and putting them together. And then, because last week it was hilarious, all of a sudden, within a, hours, I got two people asking if we had the Polaroid camera that my dad put together. Yeah. And then uh, later on, we had somebody else, a third person. A third person. Ask about the camera. Wait a second. Too. You know, three is a coincidence. I know. It can't, it, so, something is something happening happened. in the universe that yeah. three people would ask about the same thing. And then I had uh, Justin Camps uh, say, hey, uh, I just saw this video and your dad's in it. <laughs> Four. <laughs> so, but three of the people were talking about the Polaroid camera that my dad put together. And if I still had it, uh, we got one left. We yes. got one left. And this is it. It is uh, basically, I, I want to say like a, a two, 200 body or two, 250 body, something like that. Now, there's several different things. The body is one part. The eye view is a second different camera. Yeah. And this is the Carl Zeiss uh, viewer, so it's the best viewer that they actually used. The camera lens is actually from the old 60s uh, Polaroid 110A, 110B. Okay. So this is an actual working large format camera lens. Yeah, yeah. And the other ones, like the 180, 185, 190, 195, those all were built-in lenses into the unit, so you couldn't separate it out. This you can separate out. And, uh, my dad has been putting these things together since the 70s. And three, about two or three years ago, when analog people came out, right, right. These were the last two cameras that he put together. And he put them together at about the same time. Sold one of them. The guy went, goes around and shoots uh, FB 3000B and does sort of cowboy scenes or cowboy related. Right. And uh, we, he dropped by and showed us some of the photos. And they were gorgeous. It's just like a, a cowboy or a guy sitting in a in a restaurant booth, and the wood panel behind it, and you can just see the grain is just gorgeous in the wood panel. I mean, it's just beautiful photo with his cowboy hat on. Anyway, it, it, it's a, he bought one of them, and this is the last one left. So several people were asking, uh, do, "What does it look like?" Well, I mean, like this. You, you know, and the the untrained eye won't one. won't really notice no that much different. I mean, I, I can notice that the uh, clearly the lens is different, but when it comes to the back and the uh, the viewfinder, you're like, uh, you you yeah. you're, you're not going to really tell. No, no, people because this is on a lot of the cameras that are yeah. like this, but it's not on this camera. And then my dad, uh, during all that time, he would sit there and put his name and number and address on there. Now he spends a lot of time. Frankensteining these together. Oh man! Uh, he, and he would actually be able. To, what he's what yeah. he normally what he's doing is he's trying to line up the the rangefinder with the lens to make sure it's in focus. So right. he, he actually expired some film trying to get this. Oh to yeah! Work. And over there is a photo that comes with this. That is, uh, whenever he sit there and aligned it all and put it back into place and fired it, then you have the the actual you have, you have the proof, proof that it, it's it's sharp as a tack. It will cut you. It's that sharp. Now, because of the system, 
this doesn't work. The button on the top doesn't work. Yeah, because so, it's not connected to the, uh, the front yeah, lens. Yeah, it's not connected to the lens. So you have to do the cocking and the shuttering and everything. You can put your separate. own little uh, cord cable on there. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, you can do all that. And whenever you put this back and fold it up, you have to put the f-stops over and the shutter speeds to different areas so it doesn't cram it all up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, all of these... Uh, conversations and questions about my dad's old Polaroid. This is the last one that's left right here. And you go, oh, cool. What is it, like 50 bucks? <laughs> no, no. It's not. No. This thing was so popular when my dad was doing it that movies, people who worked on movie sets would buy these and go around and take photos of the scene for continuation shots. Mm -hmm. And they would then take the, the Polaroids and put them in a book so if they ever had to go back and reshoot a scene, they can open up the book and see where everything was placed. And, you know, like the yeah. glasses were half full or whatever. So this is what they would use for that. And I, we've had people throughout the entire years just come in and say, I've seen one of those. And they, you know, told them, say, hey, look on, that's what you look for on the back and see if it's my dad's. And they go, it, yeah, it had that. <laughs> so there are, there are a few floating around out there. There are some floating around there. Yes. And he, he's been, he was doing that from the mid seventies. all the way. So if you're at a garage sale and you see one of those, flip free. up the little thing there and see if his name's under Shh, there. Don't tell him that. Cause I want to go find him. <laughs> he doesn't go to garage sales. But this sells for $850. So yes, if you find one and somebody's got it and they're out there, they're, they're willing to sell it to you for 50 bucks. Buy it. Buy it. Yeah. But my dad kind of rigged the front part. So if you take it apart, you're not going to be able to get it back together. <laughs> it self-destructs. It does. <laughs> it's it, spring-loaded. It's spring-loaded. <laughs> it goes psh, all over the place. So it's really kind of cool as to what all is is um, <laughs> going on with that camera. Because he really, I mean, he it, he said the first one, it took him like three to five days to put together. Wow. And then he got to where it took him like a day or two. And then he could sit there and put it together in, in three or four, five hours. He could just sit there and zip through it and do several a day. But yeah, it's it's fun. And it's and during the heyday of that instant film, the, the Fuji instant film, oh, yeah. I'm, these were super popular, especially yes. with the movie sets. There, there was one other company out there called Star D that made these, mm -hmm. except they took the old, old 110 and modified the box so you could put the film, the uh, pack film in. Okay. But it was a pain in the butt because you would sit there and have to use two hands to pry it apart and, st and stuff it in. Mm. This one... Just don't flip it open, put it in, close it. You're you're off to the races. Good to go. Good to go. It's fun. So yeah. Also, the other reason why we're not making any more of these, besides my dad not being able to really see the details to make it, <laughs> there's no more film for it. No, that's the unfortunate part. Uh, mm -hmm. And as as we as one of our most popular videos keeps saying is, if you people would start a letter writing campaign, yes, to tell Fuji we want Fuji, that film back. We want FP 100C back and FP 3000B, but I not make it continuously. Just make it and just make these big, huge, huge bulk, bulk runs. runs of it. Be of done it. with it. And yeah, I just just. I mean, you would buy a, you would buy several cases, I would put them on max stock, out my credit sell them, card, sell them out throughout the year. I absolutely I'd max out my credit card like I just did. I, and, you film. know, and Polocom would roll through town. They would buy a bunch oh, of it. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. That, that's just how it would be. And, and then we'd all have fun. I'd be it. their new best friend. I loved that film. It was a great film. It's awesome. You, you, I miss it more that I don't have it than when I had it. But let's yeah. not talk about films we can't have. Yeah. That's let's hard. talk about films that are coming. More Ooh. films coming? Not just film, but yeah. movie film. Movie, movie film. film. I well, don't shoot movie films. Well, no. <laughs> but a lot of the people out there do. Some people do. So, tomorrow, which... And you know some of those people. I've met them. Yeah. Now. Well, tomorrow, which will be after this video comes out. Yes. I have three Kodak 200T. Yeah. 500T. Yeah. And 50D Super 8 50 foot rolls coming in. I've got five of one, five of another, and three of another. So I got 13 of these things, uh, rolls coming in. Movie film. Movie film rolls. Now, if you said su Super 8? Super 8, movie film rolls coming in. Super 8. If you're still shooting Super 8, we're going to have about 13 rolls of it in here. Well, by the time this video comes out, may not yes. have all 13 of them by the time this hits. Call now. Some. You're seeing but this video. In. Call now. 36.95 a box. 
It's gonna be, it's gonna sell like hotcakes. It should, it really should. I mean, as many people, of course, it's always like that. A thousand people will ask for it and then I get it and nobody wants it. <laughs> but I got, I got, I got 13 boxes of com coming in. I got five of five and three. So that will be fun. Now, get it while it's hot. If that's not exciting enough. And that, and that is. And that is exciting. That is very exciting. Guess what just hit? Just hit like, but since just the as, last as, time since, I saw you, since the last time I well, saw that you, that was two weeks ago. Well, yeah, but since then, okay. What is it? What is it? Cinestill now makes Cinestill Film. No, they the company make, Cinestill the Film. Cinestill Film, the company, <laughs> now makes chemistry to develop movie film. No, movie film, movie film, and I got evidently it's a four part. Four part um, uh, project. It's a four part series. It's got four episodes. Yeah, and I only have three in. They don't have one of them out yet, so uh, I don't know what the deal is with that. But I've got three of the four steps that you need to make this Ooh. stuff here now in the store. So not only will I have the film here, so, so that'll I'm, work with that Super Eight film that you're. About, I believe that you're so. Get. I'm still. This stuff is so new. I don't know. Well, you know, normally what? I don't know I, because I, I just don't know. But I have been super excited about developing with the uh, the CS41 stuff. Yeah. I'm like, you know, color XB2. I'm just it's, su it's super easy. So yeah. uh, why not uh, Cinestill taking care of the movie film? The too? movie film is going to be just as good. Yeah, I, I've already talked to a couple of labs around here in the area to sit there and go, hey guys, it's coming out. Yeah. So buy some of this stuff. Learn how to process movie film. Yep. And have somebody in the DFW area, in the Dallas Fort Worth area, to process it. You know, I wouldn't mind if we had one or two people in Dallas, one or two people in Fort Worth, maybe a person in between. Ooh, shooting movie film. Shooting movie film. I mean, that once something like that gets reestablished again, just think of all the future generations of Spielbergs that are going to be shooting today. That's how <laughs> Steven Spielberg learned and shot. And, and, and Lucas and everybody Lucas, else like that. Yeah, they're like all that. shooting film. No, no, I mean, this is when they were in high school. Yeah. That's what they shot super with Super eights. 8. And so I think that once we get this thing out and about, it's going to be just as fun and it's going to be just as uh, 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 creating imagination in kids all around and adults too. Wow. I mean, you I'm know, this it. was a super jam-packed show today. Yes, I mean, we had awesome. a lot. Did we get uh, everything? I want to check here. He, he's got, he's got smudge marks on the list there. I think we got uh, it. Ran over. It's very good. Yeah, we got that. You got, got that. that. Oh, uh -oh. one more thing. One more thing. He's adding stuff now. And, and you, no, no. It's right there. It's <laughs> right there. Every year, this is something that I always forget to tell people. You but are it's so awesome. close to being I know. Right so close. Of course, 90% of you aren't watching anymore. <laughs> Every year, at the beginning of the year, I ask that people fill out new tax-exempt forms. Oh, yeah. You did mention that earlier. Yes. Mm -hmm. New tax-exempt forms. Yes. I keep your tax-exempt form for a year. Yeah. And then that way, I put it up, wrap it up, stick it in the year's collection yeah. box. So this year, 2021, um, fill out new forms for your tax-exempt status. It's time for your new form. Yes. Yes. So please, fill it out. I'm going to somewhere put, oh, maybe you could put a link to the tax exempt. <gasps> we could put, put a link to the, well, uh, let's put that. We're going to put it in the description so they can just click on it. We're going to put it in the description below me. We're not going to put it above his head. We're going to put it right down there, mm -hmm. down there. Right there, right there. So, so you go, go find it. It's going to say it. tax exempt form. You're going to click on it. Now there'll be two. If it's the one that I think that's out there, that's the most normal. So one. they're just sure. going to print it off, fill it out and bring it to you. Right. Yeah. But there's two types of tax yeah. exempt form. One with the tax exempt ID number. And the second one is for people in the movie industry. Oh, really? Yeah, there's two different ones. So be sure you fill out the correct one. So uh, wedding photographers, uh, they people need tax who uh, develop number. film, yeah. uh, people who shoot, uh, I almost said people who shoot puppies, but that sounds so That's bad. so <laughs> bad. People who photograph puppies. Yes. <laughs> people who photograph puppies. If you're in the business and you're making money and you have a and tax, you want tax, if you want tax exempt, exemption, fill out, fill out the form, which will be below in the yeah. description. And below. a lot of the, the people who do this are the wedding photographers. Yes. So, I mean, that's, that's where a bulk of the people. I think there's going to be some weddings this, this year. Yes. Yes. And some I, pent up demand for weddings. And I am uh, stocked up with Portra 400, Portra 800, 
Fuji Pro, uh, Pro 400H 120, 35 millimeter. I am stocked up on all of those. So I'm ready for February, March. Woohoo, weddings. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we covered it. I've got, as a matter of fact, I'll be attending uh, my uh, nephew's wedding in. Uh, you're going to shoot film or digital? I, you know, I'm probably going to shoot film and digital, but I'm probably going to. Uh, Are take, you going to I'm, shoot a Hoga or? <laughs> no, I'm definitely shooting a Hoga. I'm definitely shooting a Hoga. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's up in, and it's in August and it's oh, up right. uh, in the Northeast. And so I know. think it's the Thousand Islands or the Thousand Lakes. I don't know. But Land of Lakes or the Thousand Islands. I don't know. I keep getting confused. It's know. Thousand. Uh, Minnesota's a Thousand I, Lakes. Yeah. But Thousand Land, Island. Land, Land of Lakes is the butter. Uh, Land of Lakes is the butter. And Thousand Island is this, like dressing. Yeah, I, somehow, <laughs> they, somehow they have a destination <laughs> wedding. And so I yes. have, mind you, I was going to have to go up north anyways, because that's where they live, but I have to go extra far. I'm like, we're going to be so close to Canada. I could go over there, too. Take your passport. So, go, yeah. Y'all. I can, go see, I can <laughs> see a lot of stuff. Put all the cameras into Duluth and drive across the border. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's Norwegian. <laughs> Well, y'all, uh, uh, that's it for thing. us. And Thanks. thank you all for watching. Please do share, like, subscribe, yes. tell yes. a two friends, tell three friends. Tell evangelist, man. Tell everybody. <laughs> to tell you why. And, uh, we're, <laughs> tell a gossiper. Too, like man. I said, we'll, it, we'll see you in a couple weeks when we do yeah. the next episode. Yeah. So yeah. see y'all later. Ciao. Up. Up. And out. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. That was one of our longer ones. It was a marathon. We almost didn't get through it. I think we covered it all. You, you're sure you didn't forget anything? Oh, wait. One more thing.